Hi, in this video we're going to look at how to connect to a MySQL database using PHP. So originally MySQL was the traditional way to communicate with a MySQL database in previous versions of PHP. And that's now deprecated. Now we use MySQLi commands and that was added in PHP 5 and it's made it easier and more secure to connect this way. So we have object-oriented interfaces. Uh, there is support for prepared statements. As I said, it's more secure and helps to cut down on injection attacks. And it gives us the ability to process multiple statements at a time rather than one by one. And it also provides support for transactions. So how do we go about getting this set up? Well, first you need a connection. And this is assuming also that the database is already set up, either by you or your host provider. And then you need to find out the, the database name. So you need the name of the database, the host name of the database. Now, these, are, these names are all usually different from your regular host connection information. So your database is going to have a specific name, uh, your host name, and oftentimes it's just called local host. So if you don't know what the host name is, you can try using local host. Then you need the database username and then the database password. So I would suggest writing these down somewhere, maybe if you're making the database and setting it up, to write those down as you get them. Because our script is going to need each of those pieces of information in order to connect to your database. The next thing is I would recommend creating a configuration file that will have all of this information stored. And what that will do is every time you have a script that is going to connect to the database, then we can just require this connection file that will have all of the login information to get to your database. That way you don't have to copy and paste it from script to script. And also if it changes, then you have one place to go to make the change. So I would recommend creating a new PHP file called dbinfo.php. And next, let's take a look at how that script will be set up. So as I said, dbinfo.php. And we'll have variable to kind of put all this information together, nice easy way to see it laid out with your variables. As I said, for host name, if you don't know what the host name is, just use local host. And then we have a variable for user. And so in there, you're going to type in, inside quotes, your database username. And then password is equal to your database password. And then database is equal to the name of your database. And then we create a variable called connection and we're going to use the MySQLi connect function with that and we'll include the host and the user and the password and the database variables. So then we have an if else. So if MySQLi connect error. So if we have an error, then die means that it's going to end the program. Uh, it's not going to continue doing anything else and if our program relies on connecting to the database, then there really isn't any reason to continue doing anything. So if we have an error, then it's going to die. And then we print out a message that says connect error, and then use MySQLi connect error function. So it's going to display the reason why we weren't able to connect. Otherwise, if we don't have an error, then we're just going to display a message on the screen so that we know that it was able to successfully connect to the database. Now the at sign symbol in front of MySQLi connect suppresses the normal error handling. 
So without it, then we get other types of error messages that are not as user friendly. So once you have your information collected in here and saved, upload it to your server and go to your DB Info PHP page. Now, if everything works okay, you should see successful connection to the database. But uh, I know things don't always work right out of the box the way they should. So here is maybe what uh, some errors might look like. So if you have the at sign symbol in there, then you would see an, uh, an error message, access denied for user. And usually it's showing you the login name that you're trying to connect with and then using password. If it's if, Usually if you see using password, yes, that means that there's a problem with the password and you wanna make sure that you have it, have the correct password and that you have it spelled correctly and it's in the right case. Uh, the same warning message below without the at sign suppression. So if we didn't include that, then that would be you can see a much more complex error message and warning that a user would get. But again, in this case, it's still pointing to the fact that there's a problem with uh, the password or the login credentials. So you wanna, if you still have problems with that, verify your information in here. You wanna verify the local host name, the username, password, and the database name. And again, this information is usually different than the login information that you have for connecting to your host. But that, again, depends on your setup. And so that is a quick overview of what it takes to just connect to a MySQL database using PHP.